I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know, because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell Podcast. Hello, and welcome to Conversations with Tony on Tony G. Campbell, the podcast. This is the show for my Gen X warriors, where we talk about all of our challenges and victories in life. On this episode, we will talk about how we do holidays. And I know you're wondering, holidays already? Yes, they will be upon us very soon. And you'll look up and be like, what? I can't believe there's a holiday right around the corner. So tell me, how are holidays done in your house? Are you one of those Pinterest people where things need to be beautiful and perfect? Or are you one of those anti-holiday people who... (laughs) try and hide from the world or avoid the holidays at all costs because it's just a waste of money. On today's show, my co-host and I will dive deep into a discussion about how we do holidays. And right after a word from our sponsor, I will be right back with my co-host for today, Tyrone Campbell, my amazing husband. Stay tuned. One, two, one, two. And I say this is Ty Controller. And I'm here to talk about Dip Square. Dip Square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, and other apparel. They also offer services like personalized mugs and shoes. Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you can get sneakers with your picture on them at Dip Square. They also have tote bags and other items. Right now, you can save on t-shirts every day by using the discount code I Love Tees. That's I Love T E E Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know, because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell Podcast. Welcome back. Now, today we are talking about how we do holidays. Now, my co-host for today is Tyrone Campbell, my amazing husband. Hi, hubby. What's happening? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> how was your day today? Oh, it was it was good. We you know went to church. Today is uh, Sunday, and we went to church, and then we went and uh, bought a uh, dehumidifier. Yeah, I'm telling my business because this this is what Gen X goes through: church dehumidifiers. Okay. And then uh, came home and worked on uh, some projects, put the kids to bed, and we are recording. Well, that is awesome. Yup, yup. But now, we're going to talk about the holidays. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Because, you know, people don't realize that holidays are always right around the corner. Because we're not just talking about, like, Christmas and Thanksgiving and New Year's. You know, the big ones. There's also things like, you know, Valentine's Day. Mother's Day. Groundhog's Day. Now, that is not a holiday. It is a holiday. (laughs) Groundhog's Day is very significant every year. Wait, not in the South. (laughs) Hey. We need to know. I'm hey. from Philadelphia. Yeah, that's and true. what's it? Punxsutawney. I can't yeah, ever Punk- say Punxsutawney his name. Phil. Yes. Yep. He's yep. very important to us. We need to know how many more we, hey, days we, of winter. Well, we get there. like two weeks of winter down here if we're lucky. Or, or if we get an ice storm, it's a, month. a little bit longer. It's like a month. <laughs> But we can get a well. No, we talk about weather. Let's go back to the holidays. I uh, know. Independence Day, Memorial Day. Yes. Flag. No, no Flag Day. That's not a holiday. But I get it. I mean, I used to work at a bank, so I used to know those holidays. Yeah, every holiday that the kids are out of school. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I wound up taking a day off. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Got it. Let's talk about it. So okay, so do you consider us big holiday people? Uh, I consider us medium holiday people. Um, and the only reason why I say that is, uh, Hey, we like those holidays. We, we like those, that, that, that paid time off of work. I like seeing those holidays, uh, you know, in my, um, time sheets where I can say, I'm going to take this as a holiday. And then you get that floating holiday. So yeah, we're medium holiday 
people. We don't decorate the outside of the house. No, we don't. Well, I try. Okay, I do try and put something on the door. That's or, not. That's in inside though. But it's <laughs> it's for people to walk up and see the outside of the house. Like <laughs> I will put up a wreath. No. And I will outside. put pumpkins out on the step. Mm-mm. Well, it's a wooden pumpkin, but. Mm-mm. I mean, I try in, in, in significant. No, that's medium. Signify. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, medium. yeah, we, we don't go all out like no. those people where we actually go around our uh, city and look at oh those God. crazy people no, with all no, the no, lights. No, 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 They are not crazy people. That's that's a high electric bill. That's all I'm saying. You see, that's- but that's the whole thing. That's a They are actually doing a giving back to the community. They want kids and and families to to get the it, we're talking about um neighborhoods that have um, like christmas lights up uh and th- around here they do it up big where y- you drive into this subdivision and go to the cul-de-sac and all of the houses are participating and you you can stay there for like seven to eight minutes and then you leave and, and well, they're broadcasting them they I'm broadcast the say, audio you're waiting in line yeah, for like 20 minutes and this is just a subdivision it is but guess what that was something that um i can appreciate i don't think I, I would never call them crazy because i always feel like i gotta give them a tip <laughs> you know i'm like do we got cash you know can we raise do a go for me and help them pay that bill but I mean, they you know they they do it for what two or three weeks out of a year, and yeah, their bills might be ridiculously high. Um, but you know, they they're sacrificing to to make uh, people feel good and welcome, and let the kids see something. But it's really off the chain how far they go. So I wouldn't call them crazy. I would just say that they're very um, exotic. I would say I appreciate them because yeah. they allow me not to have to do as much. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if they were crazy, I wouldn't go over there. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So, do which holiday do you consider the most stressful for us? Christmas, because, because you got to buy crap. Well, it's. I mean, I'm not going to call it crap, but, you know. the baby. No, it's more than that because you have to, you really have to think about presents that you're buying people because you can't get away with giving people gift cards. That's the easy way out. Before it was cash was the easy way out. So now you have to think um, about presents. And, and so let's let's go into a, a um, uh, an example so my my sister and brother in law they they have a lot of stuff okay so th- there are people who don't need anything yeah they yeah pretty much they don't, <laughs> yeah. I mean they could use money every now and then but they're pretty much retired so one year this is hilarious one year we went over there with an ice maker yes so but, we're like wait but, wait 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 let me tell the story okay so it was a t- tabletop ice maker because their freezer wasn't making ice, right? No, that's not why we bought why it. Why did we buy it? We bought it because they have... Um, functions. They have a lot of functions. And right. they have what's called... Is it the terrace level in their yeah, house? Yeah, the lower level. They, they, live, in a, they level. live in a mini mansion. And so in the in the in what we would call the lower level, um, they have a lot of functions and stuff. Right. And they have a refrigerator down there. But we don't ever see an ice maker. So we were like, instead of having to get ice from upstairs and bringing it downstairs, they will have an ice maker for downstairs. But just so happens... That that Christmas that we bought the ice maker, the ice maker upstairs went on the fritz. <laughs> so we we prophetically yes. bought them an ice maker when their refrigerator was not making the ice. So, but it's like we have to do that. So we got to go. Hmm, what can we get them? I know. Well, I think we've uh, done pretty good. Like one year we got it's, them. It's stressful. <laughs> I guess it's, it's, I, I look at it as almost like a scavenger hunt. It's like, I, I, I imagine their house and I'm like, what could they use that they right. wouldn't think to buy for themselves? Right. Like we bought them the, 
the old timey popcorn, popcorn machine, ma- machine yeah. because they have and a they theater, have a theater. in yeah. their home and they didn't have one. So we were like, yes, that would be perfect. Mm-hmm. And you know, they loved it. So I think, um, we buy them things that they don't think about. I, but I, I will go back to Christmas being probably the most stressful be, is because that one is attached with having to buy something. Okay. And all the rest aren't. You know, well, what you Valentine's buy for. Valentine's Day, but people Valen- think are stressful. Yeah, but Valentine's Day is only be- between you and me. I don't have to Valentine's Day with my, my sister or brother or, or nephews. No, I don't have to Valentine's Day them. Well, because it involves other people. Right. I just got a Valentine's Day you, so... So, okay, let's go back to Christmas because when we got married, yes. before we got married, did you have like a Christmas ritual that you used to do? The Well, the only thing we used to do was, uh, again, and my sister Brenda, shout out Bray, BJ Culpepper, um, we would go to our house and six o'clock in the morning, we up and opening this giant garbage bag full of of clothes. It wasn't a literal garbage bag. It was the bag was big like a garbage bag. It was this giant bag full of stuff. And everybody had a bag of stuff and we would open, eat breakfast and then go back to sleep because it was super early. <laughs> so but that was the pretty much I did that for probably 10 years, 10 maybe even more. You know, at least cuz I used to live there, but even before that we would kind of go up there um traditionally for uh, christmas mm. so yes that's what we did open up packages so for me um i guess we would always spend it at my mom's house um because i had one child and i mean i would always first i would always like him to open up his gifts at home i don't know what it was about him opening up gifts at home but as adults um We would go to her house and we would always, there was always food. There was always movies. We like movies like um, Happy Feet. We would, that was our Christmas and our Thanksgiving movie. We would just sit around and watch that over and over and over again. Or um, what was that movie that was like The Temptations? But it was... Oh, Five Heartbeats? Yes, the Five Heartbeats. She used to make us watch that. We would just want to watch Happy Feet, but... That's funny. Because you mentioned movies. A tradition for us was going to the movies. On Christmas On, Day? Yeah, and we did, we did it one time. Me, you, and uh, Kim ran out to the movies um, many moons ago. I forgot oh, what see, we I saw. I didn't think that was part of the ritual. I just thought yeah. we were no, getting we, out the house. No, we... <laughs> No, 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 but think about it. It's it's Christmas. Uh huh. So you you figure you know it's you, quiet at the movie theater. Right. I'm pretty sure. You opened up all your gifts early. And now what? You yeah. ate and and dinner. You know, we, people normally eating dinner six thirty seven. No, on Christmas you eating dinner like two o'clock. Well, yeah, you eat dinner twice right. on Christmas. You eat dinner and then leftovers. So so by by four o'clock you're done. What are we gonna do? Let's go to the movie. Oh, we saw. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. I remember that. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I don't remember. So, yeah. So, when we got married, we had to make a decision about what to do for Christmas. Now that, you know, with the two different traditions. And we had to actually... um, No, we just had to make a decision on what we were going to start doing. Well, now the... Let's kind of circle back. Um, one of the things that we read about was, um, and I don't know if you remember this, but it was a, a, like a premarital thing. And they were talking about holidays, traditions, but also expect expectations. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I want to bring that up is because you asked me what my tradition was. Mm-hmm. And if... I didn't tell you what that tradition was or give you an expectation of what the tradition is. Then when you get there, you're like, well, I'm here. Okay, well, we're getting up at six. I don't want to get up at six. You know, there yeah. could be a conflict. So you have to either agree or disagree to participate in that 
um, kind of that tradition. And same thing when you say, well, this is what we do when I go to my mom's house, blah, blah, blah. So I can get this. So I know what to expect and how to react to the stimuli. So I know when I go to your mom's house, I guess we watch in happy feet and, um, black dynamite. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> the five heartbeats. And we have to have breakfast all together because she likes everyone right. to sit right. down right. and exactly. have breakfast together. So, so for the people listening, um, bef- before Tony and I got married, we actually sat down and said, this is how we treat holidays. And this is how I would like you to participate in that holiday. And you get to say, all right, I'm, I'm down with that. Or you're like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Because at least I can say to the family, well, that's our tradition to, to you know, to, yeah, to, Tony's uh, new to the family, but we don't have to force her our ways on her. If she want to participate, she participates. So nobody giving you the side eye. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I finish interjecting. Oh. <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh, I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, we we're, were talking about, about what like we that. were doing now. What decisions that we no, made. we because were not. We were talking about how do we come up with the, the decision. Yes, I said the decisions we had to... The decision we had to make about yeah. our holiday because... We used to go to my mom's house, and then you used to go to your sister's yeah, house. Or my grandmother's house. Uh, yeah. yeah. So now, yes. um, we kind of try and spend Christmas Eve at my mom's house, because she lives two hours away now. Um, and then we spend Christmas Day at my sister's sister, love's yeah. house. Um, with the kids, but we always make sure the kids wake up at home and open up their gifts first. Well, now let's let's even backtrack more because bef- that's before before my sister moved down here. We was traveling up north. Yeah, we would travel up to Connecticut. <laughs> we, we would travel right because uh, my sister lived in Connecticut. We would travel up there. Then we would see mom and my brother in law. I mean, my brother, and it would be a big road trip, but. My sister moved down here, so the it's it made it a shifted. little bit easier. Oh, definitely. Cause yes. we yeah we haven't been on. We used to go on the road every year. We haven't been on the road like every every other year, maybe. Yeah. But all and right, wow. so that's Christmas. Now, that's Christmas. So we we kind of talked about Christmas. We kind of talked about uh, Valentine's Day. So oh, we're gonna have to talk about Thanksgiving. Yes. But we are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will talk about thanksgiving and how we do holidays in our house one two one two and i say this is ty controller and i'm here to talk about dip square dip square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t-shirts hoodies jackets and other apparel they also offer services like personalized mugs and shoes Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you can get sneakers with your picture on them at Dip Square. They also have tote bags and other items. Right now, you can save on t-shirts every day by using the discount code I Love Tees. That's I Love T-E-E-Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know. Because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Now we will continue our conversation about how we do holidays in our house Mm -hmm. with my co-host for today, Tyrone Campbell, my awesome husband. Now, before we took a break, we were going to talk about, um, we decided to talk about Thanksgiving. Yes. And how uh, our Thanksgiving just got messed all up. (laughs) I'm serious. All right, elaborate. Well, you know, my family, Thanksgiving tradition, tradition people for years upon years upon years until they screwed it up. And them, I say, anybody who messed with Black Friday. Um, Because we would get together 
We would eat. We would have a great time because my mother would always cook whatever we Mm -hmm. wanted her to cook. So we never, we didn't really necessarily have the traditional turkey every year. Um, Like my sister would request something and I would request something. And like one year, my sister requested meatloaf and or no, I requested meatloaf and mashed potatoes and my sister requested like smothered pork chops or something. And my mother has... She cooked that, and she cooked chitlins and our collard greens and rice, which is something I always have to have for Thanksgiving, is those three items, because I put them all in a bowl together with some hot sauce. Anywho, so then after we would eat, Mm -hmm. we would watch Happy Feet, and we would make a plan about our... Black Friday. Black Friday shopping, because everyone had a position to play. Because we all knew what we wanted. We'd be like, you. you go get three, you go get three, and I'll get three. And we had everybody planted around the store. Yes. they ma- Black Friday is so jacked up now because... It ain't black no more. And, okay, so let's... Let, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to give some of you uh, younger people an idea of what Black Friday used to be. First of all, it used to be Friday. Yes. Okay. And it used to be a family event. <laughs> and um, so my my uh, mother in law used to live in Jessup, Georgia, and we would go down there for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, eat, and then we would plan to go to the Walmart, not Walmart, the Walmart. Okay. <laughs> so we go to Walmart, and they would have. You you would stand on lines, mm-hmm. take numbers, nice and orderly. Yes. And um, I remember that one year you got that um, the forty inch plasma TV. Yeah. And we still got it. So was got, that the year we got laptops too? Yeah, I know oh we, yes. yes, we got forty inch TV, two laptops, a Blu-ray, a couple of Blu-ray yes. players. We would um, clean up every year. But we were staying online. And, and it would get be an stuff. event. And and then when we finish, you go to the Waffle House, get yes, some breakfast. Yes, you go to breakfast. And then come home, go sleep. Exactly. Because you was tired. And then get up and watch Happy Feet well, and eat some more food. And, right, have second breakfast. So I'm like, they messed it up with that third... Opening oh, up on, on Thursday. Thursday. Doorbusters. Uh, nobody needs that. Yeah, I got something for them. It's called Amazon. Yeah, and it's <laughs> called Let People Have Time with Their Families. Man, that's so, what I'm saying. All right, so that was everything was in order. You know, you, you stood online. They, you know, they would go, "Hey, we got 50 TVs." So the first 50 people, they would give you a number, a ticket, and you would stand on you would stand on the line talking and chatting. Then it became a free for all and mm-hmm. um you was pregnant with Caden? Oh yeah, I was about to punch people. Yeah, You're we not was going to hit my belly. Now we were in okay, we were at the Rock Mart Walmart, which is so remote. I know. Rock Mart is like Do y'all even 60, know where Rock Mart it's is. It's 60 miles from <laughs> it's 60 miles from Atlanta. Yes. So put it this way, if it's 60 miles from Atlanta, that means it's at least 45 miles to the highway. Yes, it is. <laughs> so we were at Rock Mart, which is 12 miles from where we live. It shouldn't be nobody in Rock Mart, but no, no it was a bunch of crazy. Crazy. They pushing and shoving. And, and I think uh, everybody must have got the idea that, okay, Rock Mart probably doesn't have a big yeah. population. Let's go out there and we'll get what we need. Even Wrong. though, you know, I was throwing bows, pregnant and yeah, all. Yeah, pregnant. So at that point, so that was six years ago. We were like, we're done. And then they did that whole Cyber Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forget and then it. they just kept opening up the stores earlier and earlier. And I was like, I was mad because I felt like the people who work there should have some time with their family before all the craziness starts. So, well, to make a long story short, if you don't have Amazon Prime, buy your stuff on Prime Day and just save it. So... That that's what I would recommend, um, and just to, you know, give you some deals um, on Prime Day. They had um, fire sticks, 
for fourteen dollars. Good fire sticks, <laughs> yeah, with like the with new the remotes. voice remote, and I mean that thing works awesome. So that the fire volume sticks. is on there. Um, so yeah, you can got fire sticks. You can got fire tab the new tablets. I mean, just buy your stuff and save it. You shouldn't be going into debt, but. I don't know. That's just that means you have to be a planner. I'm gonna just put that out there. You know what I learned? A friend of ours, um, a girlfriend of ours that I hang out with, she actually has what's called a gift closet. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Those are those are she considers those are last minute gifts. Like if somebody's like, Oh, I'm having something tomorrow, she's like, Okay, I got a gift, I'm gonna pull it out the closet. But I said, You know what? That's the best idea in the world, and I'm gonna start a gift closet this year because you know, you're not supposed to show up to anybody's house empty handed. And I mean, a lot of times, you know, I'll bake something or make something, but I'm like, I'm going to get me a gift closet so I could just pull out and because I keep bags. So yep. I'm pull yep. out, put it in the bag and we're going to keep it rolling. Yep. So. All right. So then, yeah. So they kind of messed up our Black Friday. Thanksgiving um, period. So, well, let's kind of talk about some of the like the new things we do again we just mentioned what we do we just shop on amazon now. yes we okay. do <laughs> no hey let me tell you about amazon the cool thing about amazon like prime will tell you two days before hey if you order it by this day they'll get it mm-hmm. and, and, and guess what they will get it because everybody and their mama they'll hire to drive and deliver those packages yes <laughs> they have drivers yeah. every single day of the week even sunday on sunday so. Um, so that's number one. And so I think what we started now was a holiday tradition at my sister's house last year, chicken and waffles for, for Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah. No, no, no. That's I'm not dinner. dinner. That is dinner. Yeah. We well, like, you know what? Over there that early. Forget all of that. Cooking a turkey. No, we, we went over there. We had three or four and waffle makers. <laughs> we had the best time. Yeah. Chicken and waffles. And did I make banana pudding for dessert? Yes, you did. For- Dessert. No, you have banana, banana pudding. pudding, and then we did our we do a concert. So me and me and my nephew, play, we both play bass. We do mm-hmm. a, a Christmas concert um, where we play um, we played all the songs, and people and everybody sing along, and, yes. and with the bass. So we, we'll do that again. But yeah, we're straight chicken and waffles. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not going crazy anymore. Um, so that's cool. Um, so I don't know. Let's go through holidays from the beginning of the year. So, w- New Year's. Yeah, what, we, we don't, don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, especially since we, got kids. we started with the kids. I mean, we just sit around and, and we count down. We might have some. Do we even? We don't even have wine or. We yeah, we got wine. We got that blackberry. What are you talking about? I was supposed to say, I don't remember if we do wine or sometimes we'll do the apple cider if we have. Yeah, yeah we do the um, we do the uh, sparkling. Yes. Apple cider. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, our New yep. Year's. So is New Year's is it's basic. Uneventful. Yeah, we don't go. We we ain't rolling out. <laughs> And then my birthday's right after yeah, that, so we all know that I don't have any parties. So yeah, that's another podcast. That's a whole Stop other podcast. The podcast. I'm not. Up. I know I'm not going to go through that again. Yeah, yeah. Um. Then what's after that? Martin, Martin, Valentine's no, Day. No, Martin Luther the King. Well, that is a holiday. That is but a, oh, wait, no don't one get does. It twisted. What do you do for that holiday? I take off work. That's but, what. See, I I have an issue with that. I Why? feel like people. Martin Luther King was out here no, fighting. say it right. Martin Luther the King. <laughs> Martin Luther <laughs> King. Um, he was out here fighting for equality and, you know, being able to work and stuff like that. And I'm like, if you're going to take the day off, I feel like you should be out there volunteering or something. You shouldn't just be sitting around the house chilling because that's not what he fought for. Not for your day to chill. He didn't fight for a holiday. Stevie Wonder did. I mean, I didn't know. I know he didn't fight for a holiday, but he was out there fighting for equality for right. jobs and stuff. So and if they he's have, not working, see, but they but they have. I guess what I'm saying is they have that. So th- he's been wrecking. He, his kingness was so great that he got recognized for a federal holiday. Um. By the by, Congress. I understand that, but I feel like. Just it's a day off around. with pay. It's equal to yeah, uh, to I, other dead people. I, I just I just think you should be up doing something great. 
Yeah, but he was doing I guess I don't great. think you should do something great just on a holiday. Well, I don't think that either, but I'm talking about for those people, you know, like who only go to church on Easter and Christmas. That's their day that they need to volunteer because I'm sure they don't volunteer any other time of the year. <laughs> All right, that's a, that's another podcast. <laughs> that's a whole other podcast. All right, so, okay, let's move on to like Valentine's Day. Yeah. Now people thought I was crazy when I Even told them how. Even though it's not a holiday. Well, it well it's a it's it's, it's a, a man of made yeah because I it's mean a, it's a pagan you spend day. money so it's a holiday. Um, really, you yes. spend money? That's a holiday. It's a holiday. And I feel like so my people, birthday is a holiday. Yeah, okay. for you. Uh, so, <laughs> so people thought I was absolutely crazy when I talked about how we celebrate Valentine's Day at the Waffle House. That's right. And I Something feel like different. I'm like that's just it's an amazing experience because I'm all about experiences. Let me tell you. Okay, everybody, um, get you first of all. If you never went to the Waffle House on Valentine's Day. You are missing out on an experience. They have linen and silverware and a photo um, uh, area to take pictures. Mm -hmm. It's dimly lit candlelight. And you are getting your lovely breakfast served to you. So it is like fine dining at the Waffle House. And it is a lot. Smothered, covered. Yes, yes. And diced. They're not yelling. (laughs) They're not yelling. No, nope. it's all soothing. It is so. And you oh, have wait, to wait. make a reservation. You, right, you make a reservation, but they also give you a bottle. Um, is it the, the, the cider? The cider yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. So you get, and it's it's a pay one price. So it's something like um, 30, 30 bucks or something like that. I don't that. know what. I don't know. And it's for two people. You know, the price yeah. is for two. You get a little. You get a little cake too. You get a little Valentine's. Oh Day yeah, cake. you get dessert. Um, so, um, the, yeah, that, that is a awesome experience that I would recommend to anybody. So yeah, that's, that's one of the things with Valentine's day that we, I think we saw it on the news. Yeah. It was and on the news like, a couple of years ago. We were like, let's try We tried it as a joke, yeah, I think. Yeah, it was. But we really enjoyed it. Then we went back the next year and we took and some we people, taking people with and they, us. And they're looking and at us like. Yeah. Y'all serious? And they had a great time. They had a great time. So, it was yeah. wonderful. So at least try it out if you um, want to do something Try out different, different things. Yeah. Quirky things, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. Now for like Labor Day, Memorial well, Day, no, no, and no. 4th of July. How are you going to go from February to September? Well, because I feel like those are all barbecue holidays. No. Like, you know, that's you got Mother's do. Day. Oh, your Mother's Day and the Father's Day. No, let's Day. just skip it. <laughs> I'm just saying uh, because it. I mean I I didn't I actually didn't you write got those Saint down. St. Patrick's Day, but we don't really we don't do a thing for St. Patrick's Day. You don't wear nothing green. Well, I I wear green almost every day. All That's right, my then favorite you Saint color. Patrick in. Oh my goodness! Really? Hello? Anywho, the so big barbecue March. holidays. Well, eight, what's in April? Out oh, our anniversary. Which we don't really do nothing. Yeah, for that we don't either. do nothing because we, you know, it, it, the way my bank, bank account works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we might need to start doing some stuff. See, well, the thing is, we have to discuss it because I think what we what we do is, and it's so funny. We go, we go. Are we giving each other anything? No. All right, we good. Like, so. go find your gift. Okay, I want this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like, hey, I need some uh I need some white t shirts <laughs> for Father's Day. Okay, here you go. Thank you. No no, I need the six pack. <laughs> I don't need the five pack. I need that extra shirt. Goes a long way in my ro- in my laundry rotation. Um, uh, all right, so that's so all right, we're in June. So then fourth of July. Oh, no, no. May is Memorial Day. So we usually have my sister's house. Yeah. Where I'm getting my barbecue on. Memorial Day and 4th of July. Right, we're and at 4th her of house July. doing a barbecue. We're at the pool. But sometimes um, when your mother was down in, in um, Jessup, we used to go down there for like 4th of July. Yeah, but that was before your sister moved here. But like we, ever since your sister moved here, we do everything at her house. <laughs> She has commandeered all of our holidays. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, <sighs> Probably because.
Christmas, we just like it's a chill. It's right, a chill but the ki- staycation. Right, she got the pool. The kids like to swim. Yes, I barbecue. And it went with family, so yeah. And and they're not far. You know, she's about an hour and exactly. twenty minutes away. I mean, she's not far at all. Okay, before because you know time is ticking. So we're, let's talk about some quirkiness when it comes to holidays, because um, I know you were. I don't know if you were shocked, but when we had the discussion about our Christmas tree. Oh, my God. <laughs> let me tell y'all. And you don't say nothing. Let me let me, let me let me get close to the mic. Oh, my God. First of all, um, I don't have a problem with flashy lights and different color lights. But somebody in this room that has the same initials like me, T and a C, <laughs> talking about I only want white lights. I do. I only like white lights. So, and I really mm. don't like anything on my tree. So, I like, did we have a tree before I bought the new one? I feel like we had a tree at the other house, but something must have no, happened we didn't. to it. We, we didn't have no I tree. think we had a little tree because I, I, I know I didn't have a tree. I had a tree because my tree always was just white lights, and I would always put it in front of a window because I so like you had the little tiny Charlie yeah, Brown tree. I, it wasn't a Charlie Brown; it was just a tree with lights. Okay, well, and... anyhow, let me let me explain. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna go back. We've just moved in this house. I mean, Sydney was born, so Sydney was an infant. So October, no. Cindy was two months old. Caden was almost three. Yeah, he would be in three in February. Yeah, so almost three. So I'm like, you know what? We need a tree. I run out to get this tree, and I sw- I swear to you, I'm looking for one that just had white lights. <laughs> hmm. I get home, I plug the tree in. That joint got the um, different color lights. Mm-mm-mm. And then here comes, what what do you call it? Uh, Damaris from... Uh, what? You, you Damaris from uh, Game of Thrones. No, I was not that bad. <laughs> she I was, was like, ah. I, just, I was just very colored. emotional. I, I didn't even realize. You were emotional. Yo, I went into the corner and literally just start crying. I just, I mean, I don't know. I'm just weird was, like that. I, I was, don't like the color. Let me tell you, I put the tree up. Yeah. You know, I got the fake snow around it, and she was, and just like, oh, it got light. My it's shoulders lights. were cringing. Yeah. And and I was, I mean, I was so upset. I'm like, you know what? And then you and the kids put all this stuff on the tree. <laughs> yeah, man. So, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Why, I have no idea why I'm like that. Because my mother used to have stuff on her tree. Brenda has beautiful... I love to see beautiful and, trees and, and trust me, decorated. I did not plug the the, the blinker one in. Because she would have definitely uh, <laughs> went off. So, she, she, you know, she was like, okay, fine. I can I can deal with it. But see, I... I, I that's you and the kids' tree. Yeah, whatever. I cope with it every year. I t- <laughs> Y'all don't even know. All the all the men out there, uh, hit me up if this has happened to you. I will do a takeover episode. We'll talk about how you your good intentions went awry. Went awry. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I mean, I, I I like I said, the tree gets put up every year. And I don't say anything. The tree, I got a moon. Uh, oh, you know what's funny? Um, there was well, oh, also uh, clean your house because we just found out we got this <laughs> metal sleigh. <laughs> you don't had a metal sleigh in your office for like what? six no, years. <laughs> no, it was in the garage for at oh, least that's four true. years, least... and then we yeah. cleaned the garage, and I put a thing in so, my yeah, we gotta office, add that metal and it's been in to my the mix. office for two years. Um. I think oh w- one of the things that I would like to do is get get back to uh um maybe sending out a card or something with for with the kids on it like make uh, get I the cards I, made. I don't think I did we cards did that last one. year, but I, I yeah, yeah I we need did to, that I one, have my card list. So I need to just I gotta be more 
For some reason, last year holidays just got it away just, from me. Yeah, they get it gets here so yeah. fast. So it's like. And then one I was day like, it's I Labor Day, the next day is Christmas. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like the holidays will be upon you, and you wake up and be like, "Oh my gosh, I." Need well, you know what the problem is everything, because everything is email. We're like, I oh, will get to it. It ain't like we got stamps. A roll of stamps and stuff like that. Well, so, for the Christmas cards, I send them out with stamps. No, I'm saying, but it's not like that's part of your normal repertoire to have a roll of stamps and stuff like that. I know. But, um, so let me just think. Is there anything else other than birthdays, October? Nope, I was about do. to say, I don't think we can talk about that. We've run out of time. No. Yes. All right. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to have to shut this thing on down. All right, we'll shut it down then. One, two, one, two, and I say this is Tide Controller, and I'm here to talk about Dip Square. Dip Square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t shirts, hoodies, jackets, and other apparel. They also offer services like personalized mugs. And shoes. Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you can get sneakers with your picture on them at Dip Square. They also have tote bags and other items. Right now, you can save on t shirts every day by using the discount code I Love Tees. That's I Love T E E Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know. Because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell podcast. All right, everyone. It is time to wrap this thing up. I would like to say thank you so much for taking time to listen to Conversations with Tony on Tony G. Campbell, the podcast. Go to TonyGCampbell.com to check out our archive shows where you can also see our show notes for this episode. Follow the and subscribe to Tony G. Campbell, the podcast on all of the social medias. Facebook, Instagram, the Twitter. Share with your friends and let them know that they can listen to Tony G. Campbell, the podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iHeartRadio. Make sure you go to my website, TonyGCampbell.com, and become a Gen X warrior. Make sure you rate and review the podcast everywhere that you are listening. And remember to be kind, be useful, and be fearless. Have a great week.